I'm midway through my first ride on my 2022 Canyon Lux Trail and uh, I'm happy to say that it's been a, a great day so far. Uh, despite some muddy conditions, um, this bike has really held up um, to its reputation as uh, Canyon's first downcountry bike. This is my second... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> this, is my, this is my second full suspension bike um, that I've owned after a specialized Epic Evo. Uh, that one's a 2019 also sort of in this, this down country realm. And um, I would say that this bike definitely, um, I guess you could say, hold, hold the candle to it. In this video, um, I recorded myself going through a series of sort of down country um, tests. There's a little bit of technical downhills. Um, there's a, a few flat sections as well as some just cross country riding. So uh, keep watching and, uh, and, and you can see for yourself how well the bike handles those different types of trails. Okay, up next we'll do one of my favorite little sections of trail that's kind of close to Prague where we kind of go around this quarry to our left and through the meadow and then down the hill. It's really a nice ride. Just drop that post down. All right, smooth as butter. All right. Oh, very smooth. This is great. These are all loose. Baby heads. Brakes are working well. Suspension is keeping it smooth. Oh, hard rocks there. Wow, this is, yeah, smooth as can be. Okay, so let's, let's go up what I just came down to see how it feels on the climb. I have it fully locked out now. Again, it feels great. Um, I don't think I'll have to go to the trail or the, the second um, suspension lockout, but maybe let's try it on this little part here. It doesn't feel as solid, but it doesn't feel like I'm wasting energy either. If you appreciate this video and this review and me choosing to talk instead of breathe on these uphills, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get up the steepest part. Whew. All right, so let's, let's take this on a little bit of a cross country trail here. See how it goes. I'll put the lockout in the middle here. It should probably be sufficient for everything that goes here. All right, let's see if we can crank it up a bit. Some rocks. No problem, nobody done. All right, feels good. It feels smooth. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's take a look at the components. We'll kind of work from the ground up and the tires all the way up to the handlebars and the uh, seat post. So starting with the tires, we have the Schwalbe Wicked Will up front. I believe that's a 2.4. And then in the back, we have a different one. We have the Racing Ralph. They've got the, the cool um, kind of uh, tan, tan uh, side walls, which is nice. Um, I did switch these out for tubeless and they hooked up uh, no problem at all. I just add, added some Schwalbe valves in there. They were already um, taped, the rooms are already taped, so they um, were ready to go tubeless. All you have to do is have your own valves. The drivetrain is a 1x12. This is the SLX. Um, the Shimano SLX and I've been riding SRAM for years now So it's been really nice to kind of go back to Shimano and uh, feel the differences. Uh, it's been no problem uh, I haven't it's enough range for me um, And it also has this really cool little uh, chain guard, which is apparently like the lightest one ever um, That is uh, tucked into the the frame there This is the CF6. So it's uh, it's sort of the entry um, entry model to the the line and it does not have carbon wheels uh, so it has these DT Swiss aluminum wheels that still feel very light to me. The fork is the Fox Stepcast 34. It's 120 mil of travel which is kind of the standard um, down country size and then in the back we have a 110 mil um, Fox float and then we have the Fox transfer uh, dropper post. Um, it's been really fast and, and good so far so if we drop it down it up it's really quite fast so the, the dropper post has been uh, working well i've heard some people say it is a little bit short 
um, but so far I haven't had a problem. Um, everything I've been going down today, uh, if I drop that, I'm, I'm comfortable on it. All right, let's take a look at the cockpit. Um, this is one thing that I am not super happy about, is just how busy it is. I might just have to get used to it. So this is the left-hand side. We have the, uh, the remote lock out here. So there's one, two, three um, sort of uh, buttons to push. Then we have the dropout lever. And then we have the, the, the left brake, of course. And I have already today um, mistakenly um, locked out my suspension when I was trying to drop the, uh, the seat. And uh, hopefully I just have to get used to that or maybe move this to the, uh, the right side. And if we go over to the right uh, here, we just have that SLX shifter and the, the brakes are um, SLX as well. And last but not least is the, is the frame. So I believe that the, the Canyon Lux Trail um, for every model uh, the, the frame is exactly the same. It's just the colors are different and you get a different um, component set coming out um, with it. So this is a great bike to just purchase and kind of if you want to wear through the parts and then upgrade it, uh, you get the same um, frame as the, as the high-end one. And also it, like, it looks really good. It's, uh, it's simple. It's just uh, two colors, you know, just the, that Alps gray with just the black on it. Uh, it just fits in really well with all the parts and I, I really think it's a beautiful bike.